Well, I look crazy. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and for today's video. My name is Tina E and I make fashion and beauty videos here on YouTube. Today, I did a get ready with me and I did my skincare and hair and makeup and outfit. And if you want to know where things are from and what I've used, just keep on watching. Water break. <sighs> Today is such a great day. I had my first workout in like four weeks, I think. Nothing big, just a little bit of cardio, a little bit of weights, but I'm at it again and it feels so good and the sun is out it's a little bit chilly not gonna lie this is norway norwegian summer sucks but it just brightens my mood so much so i thought i was gonna film a get ready with me today so as you can see hair is washed and i have yet to do my skincare and i thought i would share that with you and i don't use a toner uh, in the morning because i can't find it now oh it's in the bathroom well, I just use the ordinary glycolic acid toner and I don't want to use acid on my face and then go out in the sun. It doesn't make sense to me. So I'm going to go straight to serum. Serum? Serum. And I use the ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% is this one. It's that one. Does this make sense to any of you? I just use that. I started using this because I heard that it was great uh, against um, rosacea and redness in the skin and uh, the, it's right. This really helped uh, getting rid of all the redness. My nose is still a little bit red. I don't think I'll ever get rid of that. But this has helped a lot. It's been a long time since I filmed. It's been a few weeks and that's because I've been working a lot because it's the summer, obviously. I work at a clothing store. People want to go on vacation and somebody got to take their shit and uh, that somebody was me. I just pat this in. Next up, I just use an eye cream. This is the Mary Kay Time Wise uh, eye cream. Quite enjoy it, it's not too thick, but at this point I'm just using it up. I'm gonna pat this one in. And as you can see, I just like to pat, 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 pat it in. I don't like to rub my eyes, even though I do that a lot. But I try to be conscious of it because I've been struggling with a lot of dry skin around my eyes. And it's been itching and just being a really huge bother, really. And next up, we're just using a uh, regular day moisturizing cream. And I use the Feel Free. Now, this is not focusing at all. And I haven't used this a lot, it's fairly new, but I do like it. And I just pat again. I just rub the excess in. Water break. And to finish off my skincare routine, I just use SPF. And I use the Hawaiian Tropic Sensitive Skin Face SPF Cream. And I love this. I really do love this. It makes my face matte, it's not shiny, which I hate. And uh, I have not reacted to this at all. And that's quite refreshing because SPF and like sun cream tends to make me break out. I do have some breakouts right here, but um, it's quite manageable. And I'm being generous with this, as you can see. And I'll just pat that one in as well. So while I'm letting those products sink into my skin and kind of settle, I'm just going to blow dry my hair. And for heat protecting, I just use the Indola Repair Split End Serum. I don't have split ends, but this is amazing at protecting your hair. And it makes it so soft and smell good. And I just noticed a real difference. So I'm going to apply this in my hair and blow dry it. And for that, I'll have to stand up. Because of this, I usually rinse my hair like while I'm bending forward because it makes it a lot easier to give the hair volume and I, that's something I struggle with. Okay, my god. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, it's already coming down, that's good. Just gonna brush hair well, this mess, and I like to just take like a half of pump more of this and just distribute that in the ends 
just to make sure that they don't dry out. I need a new hair dryer, a blow dryer, but um, it's not a priority right now. It works fine, but uh, I'll have to think about replacing that one soon because it's quite old and it has two settings and that's hot air and very hot air. We're gonna try to fix this soon. Now I'm gonna do my makeup. As always, we start off with primer and I'm using the Beauty UK Prime FX Foundation Primer. And I found that this is quite similar to the, to the um, matte NYX primer. So I'll just apply this in the areas I tend to get a little bit oily and shiny and it's basically just my T-zone. It's such a beautiful day. I am going to see my friend and we're gonna have a lovely dinner. And I can't wait. I actually saw her yesterday, she did my hair, and she nailed it. She's an apprentice, but she nailed it on the first try. I've been to like two or three other hairdressers and they do not understand what I want at all. And she's just like, yeah, I can try. And she just nails it. What? So I'm not going, I'm not going anywhere else. She's, I'm a regular customer now. She really did impress me. She has a talent, I'm sure. Now, what I've started doing lately is I noticed just a huge seagull outside. Wow, I'm easily distracted. Back to foundation. Uh, I'm just using the Luminous and Smooth Fit Me by Maybelline. It's a shade 110. It's a little bit too light for me. And that's like the first time ever in my life because I'm actually quite pale. But this one is kind of wrong right now. I have dry under eyes and I used to set my eyes uh, using a powder and I found that that aged me like 20 years. It didn't look good. So lately I was using like a small amount of uh, foundation. And I've just applied it under my eyes just to even it out and on my nose and here because as you can see, there's a color difference. So I've been just doing that. Dot, 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 and dot, and dot. And so I'm just using my finger. I'm not using a beauty blender anymore. So I'm just gonna pat that with my fingers and just blend it so it looks good and bright. And even, even Steven, I feel like this is kind of blended in now. Brighten up my face a lot, I can see in the camera. And I'm just gonna make myself a cup of coffee and wash my hands, because right now I have foundation. Hands. I put some cinnamon in it, and it gave me fall vibes. But that's okay, because it's good. It was really good. I do recommend putting cinnamon in your coffee. Yum. Moving on! I still kind of need to set my face and under eye area. So I'm gonna do that. I just clean my brushes. So all my brushes are now clean and I don't know a better feeling. I'm just gonna gently set the foundation under my eyes because I don't want it to be too dry. And I'm using the Makeup Obsession yellow powder. It's the Banana Powder C111. Gently patting, you know the drill. <laughs> Why? Why am I so clumsy? And to set the rest of my face, I'm using nothing new. Same one as always. I love it. Next up we have contouring and I'm using the Renaissance Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. I absolutely love this. I do. And I hope I can get something similar to this when this one runs out because at the moment, I can't live without. I've heard that W7 has some good dupes, even though this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one, but that's expensive. I don't have that kind of money. So we're just using the uh, Renaissance Glow, and I'm using a regular contour brush. And to just add some light on the places I want light, I'm just using the Makeup Obsession Contour Powder in the shade C101 Fair, and this is basically just white. Coffee break. Mm, caffeine. And I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna take the contour powder. The contour shade, I'm gonna take the contour shade. And just kinda put some shade down my nose and underneath it. Just give that tip. Give it that flick. I don't think that's right. You get my point. Moving on to brows. I'm gonna attempt something new today. I thought I had thrown out my brow pomade. Turns out I didn't. I'm gonna see if I can make it work. But I do need my special 
brow brush. There it is. This is how you look for things, by the way. We remove everything. Make a mess. So that later you can't find anything at all. I'm using the Freedom Brow Pomade. I can't remember the shade, but it's kind of a cool toned, taupey kind of shade. And I'm just using... Okay, this is a brush I got off eBay. Again, I didn't know any better. And I trimmed it, so it's very thin. And that way I can be more precise. And we're gonna attempt to do this. I don't think that was too bad, really. I am impressing myself. <laughs> we're building confidence, ladies. And boys, if you're watching. Okay, this is a bit too dark. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna attempt to do the other one. I think this is as good as it's gonna get, but I'm happy with this. So I'm just using the Fit Me powder again, just to clean up and sculpt a bit more. I just think that this makes such a huge difference. It's so much more clean. We like clean, we like a clean cut, but not unnatural. We're all about natural here. That made kind of a difference. And of course, we do need to set them. I'm just using the Maybelline Brow Drama Clear Brow Gel. You get my point. Kind of like wet eyebrow look. Does that make sense to any of you? And now we're moving on to eyes. And I bought an eyeshadow primer. And it's the first eyeshadow primer I own. And I'm just gonna take a dot, dot, and dot, 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 dot. I'm gonna pat it in all over my eyelids. Now, I never understood like the um, Instagram trend where you like basically paint your entire face. And you have like this solid eyeshadow primer layer right here. You can't see the skin like at all. Never understood that. It's such a waste of product really. And it's not necessary in my humble opinion. But maybe there's a reason. And if you know the reason, please feel free to share because I'm genuinely curious as to why they choose to use so much product. And to set the primer, I think I'm just gonna use this palette today. It's the Makeup Revolution Redemption Palette Essential Mattes. And I'm thinking about using the this one, the UB UB Honor Light Rose Eyeshadow, it says. And it's in the shade 03. It's a very pretty shimmer. So I think I'm gonna use it. But to set it, I'm just gonna use the lightest shade in this palette and set it all over my eyes. And I'm just Used using, I'm just using a fluffy blending brush because I have noticed with that eyeshadow primer, if I don't set it, the eyeshadows go on very patchy. Ooh, I, I forgot to tell you which primer I used. I used the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. And I have no idea what to do now. This is a very uninspiring palette. I think I'm just gonna have to use that shade right there, like the gray brownish. And I'm using a very fluffy blending brush. This is the Tapered Blending 224 by Jessup. Now these are buildable, and I like that. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm taking a eyeshadow brush like this. It's kind of flat, it's a blending brush. And I think I'm gonna take the dark brown shade right there and mix it with that shade right there. I'm just gonna apply this in my outer corner and in the very depth of my crease. Now I'm just gonna take the dark brown shade in my outer corners, just to deepen them up. And then I'm gonna blend the heck out of it using the same fluffy one. Just go over a little bit, make it all seamless. Next up, I'm just taking an angled liner brush and the dark brown shade again. I'm just gonna line my lash line and maybe add a little bit of a flick. And to finish off the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use the shimmery UB UB. I don't use much. And on my inner corners, I'm just using this very old eyeshadow palette from H&M. It's quite beautiful colors, really. And I usually just use this one and a lip pencil brush, actually. And I'm gonna apply that to my inner corners. I'm bright now. Then I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara, and I'm still using the Lash Sensational Maybelline mascara. I love it. I have to hold my mirror. If I'm not holding my mirror, this ain't gonna work. And we're moving on to the rest of the face. And I'm just gonna use the H&M Apricot Pure Radiance Powder Blusher. And I am, of course, using a highlighter, but this is old. 
I don't know if you can still get it, but it's the Revolution Makeup Vivid Baked Highlighter. And this is the matte lights. It's kind of matte, but it gives a beautiful sheen. And so for an everyday kind of highlighter, this is perfect. And I'm just using a Jessup Tapered Highlighter 137 brush. This brush doesn't work. I think I'm gonna use a brush like this instead, even though it's kind of big, but I'll be careful. I'm a goddess. Yes. A little bit on the tip of my nose, my chin, for some reason. I decided to apply it there. Keep it bow. A little bit more. I have to stop now. And to set this gorgeous looking face, I'm using the Revolution Makeup Sport Fix. Oh, it's a fixing spray. Still gonna use it though. Now I have no idea what I'm gonna wear for my lips, but I am going out for dinner, so there's no use in doing a lot. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try this one. This is the H&M lipstick. Well, of course it's a lipstick, but it's the uh, Wellis and Tweed shade. I think this is, we're gonna try. Oh, it does work. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. This kind of works. Overall, I'm quite happy. I'm just gonna go with this one, so I'm taking this with me. And uh, now we gotta decide on jewelry. I think I'm just gonna go for pearls, maybe. Goes with everything. I'm thinking about these ones. Nope, I'm not. I'm just gonna go with the regular pearls today. You can never go wrong with that. I love pearls. If you don't know what to wear, wear pearls. It's amazing. I think like a small necklace, maybe? For my necklace, I just decided this small, dainty gold necklace. It's not actually real, it's not real gold. And it started to tarnish a bit, but it's just like a nice detail, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. I think I'm gonna have to get my boyfriend to put it on. I don't know if I can do it by myself. Well, maybe. Yay, I did it, first time. I was thinking about curling my hair, I don't have the time for that, but it's not so bad. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. I'm running quite late, but that's okay. Uh, my dress is from H&M. I really, really like it. The shoes are also H&M. They have glitter on them. I know the socks are very visible, but you know what? I, I can't wear shoes without socks. I just cannot. For my necklace, I'm just using this dainty, small gold necklace. I'm using my pearl earrings and just a pearl bracelet like this. Now, and if I do get cold, I'm bringing a cardigan like this. It's not the most stylish, but it will keep me warm. And that's important. And now I gotta go. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know and subscribe if you would like to see some more from me. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.